This is the uh, 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 various classic um, um, Epson uh, portable uh, computers, the HX20, the PX8, which ran um, CPM. And before I go down, we'll just uh, go over here on the floor. There's a couple of uh, K-Pro 2s. Down in the back here, we have uh, various um, LCD um, handhelds, various... Uh, uh, um, Tiger um, Systems, the Game.com, um, and their and and their R Zone. I'm trying to get a good uh, look in there. There's the R Zone, various handhelds, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, moving this for a second, let's see. Yeah, we have uh, um, one of the Commodore uh, Super Pets back in there. Um, up here we have a. Uh, Zenith Z100, which is a rebranded re uh, um, Heath kit, um, and over here is the rest of the uh, uh, Heath kit stuff. A couple of uh, H8, H19, etc. Um, back down here for for a moment, we have the Amstrad CPC 6128, and we also have the console, the GX4000. Those again are PAL-based. Uh, systems. We have a couple of uh, video brain systems. One works. I had to scavenge parts from uh, one to make it work with the other a monitor for, for the uh, um, Amstrad. It's a couple of a uh, couple of uh, uh, Matrona uh, um, attache CPM systems. I'll probably um, sell them both. Uh, um, they blew um, something uh, internally and uh, I really don't uh, can't figure out what's wrong with them but some someone relatively uh, tech savvy I'm sure can figure it out a programmable calculator some old uh, Burger King and McDonald's glasses um, more um, Capro stuff this is a bunch of um, CPM stuff here the uh, the Royal uh, the uh, uh, Triumph um, Adler um, CPM um, system, uh, K Pro 4, and Osborne, various uh, software items, etc. More uh, Commodore Pet stuff, uh, another uh, Super Pet there, and there's the original pet on the floor there. Um, swing, swing back over here. Okay, various um, handhelds, old phones, the Zodiac, that was an old uh, Palm-based um, handheld, kind of ahead of its time. Um, the Sinclair QL and the various uh, Sinclair uh, systems, the, the ZX80, the ZX81, the Timex stuff, the Spectrum, uh, it's all there, the Timex uh, 2068, um, you know, just, just, just a whole bunch of that stuff there. Uh, the Spectre Video S SV three twenty eight uh, stuff. Um, I don't have any of the three one eight systems, but the three two eight is is much nicer actually. But the but the three one eight is is a little more um, sought after because it's you know it's an unusual um, design. Here's a. Uh, a um, create uh, Creative Vision um, console. Um, it's actually the Dick Smith uh, Wizard that's there. Um, um, I have two um, two of those. Uh, you know, again, I'll probably get rid of one. The Interact um, uh, computer. Uh, one is modified. See an old acoustic uh, coupler there. These. Uh, this is all of my um, MS, MSX and, M and MSX2 um, items. Uh, that's the one and only American um, MSX computer. It, you know, it's, it's from um, Yamaha. It was sold as a, it was a music computer. It has built-in a, a MIDI and all that stuff. So, all right, let's see. Let's make sure I got everything. Yeah, and again, on on the top rack is just old cell phone and portable music device um, items. Over here, a uh, MIDI keyboard full-sized this is all the Atari uh, computer items um, 
See the ST in the bottom, various uh, Atari 8-bit 8, um, 8 items, um, various, various, various Atari 8-bit uh, computers, um, it's all there. Atari Jaguar um, items, I have to find a better way to uh, um, um, organize those. That's a whole big, big area of Atari compatible um, joysticks and controllers. On the bottom is the Commodore VIC-20 stuff, uh, um, the Atari Lynx, the Atari 2600, uh, 7800, uh, etc. The Jaguar uh, um, hardware, the Atari 5200, um, the computer add-on for, for the Atari 2600, various uh, ec um, extra controllers and whatnot, etc. Commodore 16 and plus 4 items, um, Commodore 64, uh, 128 um, items, all all kinds of things, lots of interesting interesting stuff to, to go through and get through. Uh, let's see, on the floor there are some SX-64s, uh, six, uh, one of them is in perfect um, condition, again it took me two um, different systems to get one per perfect one um, together, but I did. Um, and then over here is all the uh, Commodore Amiga stuff, the CD TV, the CD32, uh, um, the Amiga 1200, the uh, 500, the 2500 HD, etc. The 1000, of course. And this is the, the rear of the, of the various items. So that uh, pretty much does it for, for the main uh, um, storage area. Uh, this is the most uh, collection heavy part of the house. I'm not going to bother to show you the uh, the modern day items like like the Xbox 360, PS3, Wii, etc. The modern handhelds, uh, basically where um, Christine and I do our uh, computing now. We do it in on the family room, so we, so, so we have our uh, main uh, computer setups up there. Uh, I used to do a lot of work uh, years ago in this office in here, but um, now it's just basically a, st a staging area. I have an old uh, Win Windows XP uh, computer here that I can do uh, various things with because it's good to have that you know that old um, operating system and computer for uh, you know that's ready to go for backwards compatibility. I have ob obviously various. PC boxes of uh, different um, vintages to uh, mess with, but it's good to have one uh, ready to go. And I have an old, uh, you know, a couple old uh, Mac Minis there, the ones bef uh, before they switched to the Intel um, architecture. That's handy. Um, the 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 Amiga uh, 1084S that's here. It's uh, it's one of the most uh, versatile uh, monitors. It does. Um, NTSC and PAL um, video formats. Here's a um, TV that does both um, formats. There's a newer um, LED monitor, which is handy to uh, test things quickly without, uh, you know, having to use a big, uh, you know, big, big tu tube TV or um, uh, mess with one of the uh, uh, um, newer TVs. Over here is all the uh, Macintosh software. There's some good uh, classic Mac software. I'm not that interested in the newer stuff, of course, but the classic uh, black and white stuff or when color was a relatively a recent is, is pretty fascinating. And there's act, um, actually a few uh, you know, exclusive titles that were on the Mac that you can't find um, anywhere else. Various books and magazines. Um, at some point I will scan the stuff that's not, that's not already available once I get around to it. And these are all books and various things. Uh, if, if Christine and I um, ever, um, ever get around to setting up one of the rooms upstairs as a library, get these books out of here and I can move uh, the various um, software items in this rack in the hallway here back into that office there and clear some space in this hallway and make it a proper um, hallway again have all the GameCube, PS2, and Xbox stuff all here since uh, it's not used as much now with the newer uh, 360 Wii and 
PlayStation 3 uh, available. Now in this row here, it's all the uh, Apple II items basically. Up on top as well here. And then down through here. And then over here in the back there is Apple II stuff and it starts the Atari 8-bit um, items which are, which are all here. You can see it goes on pr pretty deep so I really need to uh, re um, reorganize this stuff. I have this stuff in a, in a spreadsheet so I know what I have but I prefer to see it. This is all the uh, TI-99 um, 4A stuff. It goes here, this little uh, cube here, and then this one. And then we start to have the uh, Atari ST um, items which uh, which starts there and then works down. I try to keep mostly uh, computer stuff um, in these racks but there's a few um, video game items uh, mixed in. Um, on the bottom here is the Radio Shack color uh, computer that goes down here too and then this is all the uh, TRS-80 stuff the Trash 80 for the Unkind. Um, it goes all the way here, and then here's the Commodore Pet stuff. Mostly um, Avalon, Avalon Hill um, software. Up on top is the Plus 4 and C16 um, software, followed by the CD32, uh, and then back to the uh, Apple II items. Over here is all the Commodore 64 and Commodore 128 stuff, followed by the VIC-20 um, items. And then the Commodore 64 works works its way down here, all the way there. Keeps on going, and then back over here, and then there, and then it begins the the ColecoVision and Atom um, items, which are all here. And then I guess the only one I didn't mention was the Amiga stuff. All this is Amiga here. So at least I generally know where everything is. But, um, you know, I can be a little more efficient with my space and I can kind of cut back on the collecting now and get more to the uh, using. This is the area that you often see. Um, this is the arcade slash um, gym area. So, you know, the gym area isn't much, much, much interest to people, but the... Uh, uh, various uh, marquees, little uh, collectibles and doodads. The girls like the, uh, the Mario stickers on the walls. Eventually I'll put a uh, modern day on TV there, but for now it's, it's handy to have that old uh, Sony there because it's, it's more uh, compatible with the older um, software. And that's an R2-D2. Uh, that's pretty interesting. It actually is meant as a kind of a fun uh, consumer, uh, you know, toy-like toy robot, but it does a lot of the same, same things that that Hero Jr. that you saw in the corner does. Um, though the Hero Jr. Still, still does more, but it's a pretty close call as far as a feature set goes. The only thing that the R2-D2 really can't do from a major um, standpoint that the uh, that the Hero Jr. can do is um, be uh, programmed. And this is just the old uh, board board game stuff. There's some uh, video game related um, board games in there. And, you know, uh, an Intel puzzle, an IBM PC Jr. puzzle. So there's a few few interesting items. So that's it. That's the latest tour, uh, February 2011. Um, I will do my best to try to uh, do actual formal videos. I, I'm still sitting on the next episode of Armchair Arcade on TV. Hopefully I'll get to that soon. I've been saying that for six months plus now, but eventually I, I will get to it and uh, start to uh, um, showcase um, more of this stuff other than in uh, writing and uh, through... Uh, you know, various other um, projects. So until next time, take care.